Hi, today we are going to discuss the new chapter Bio Inorganic Chemistry. Okay, so in the number discuss the chapter Bio Inorganic Chemistry, and a introduction, in a Okay, so what is Bio Inorganic Chemistry? Bio Inorganic Chemistry is an interdisciplinary scientific branch that examines the chemistry of inorganic elements mainly metal within the biological and biochemical system okay that is known as uh, the, that is known as bioorganic chemistry or we can say bioorganic chemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with the role of metals or role, role of inorganic elements in a biological system okay then molecular biology is generally more associated with organic chemistry However, inorganic elements and metals ions are also important to biological process. Okay, for example, the role of platinum in anti-cancer drugs, occurrence of metal as a uh, natural constitu constituent of proteins, the metalloproteins and the role of metalloenzymes has great significance in life process. Okay. Then alkali and alkaline earth metals, especially sodium, potassium and calcium, have significance in biology to trigger cellular response. Okay, but reward roles of metals and elements in organic elements in the biological system reward role reward role proteins, proteins synthesis, metallo proteins, metallo enzymes. Other than alkali metals and alkali earth metals, sodium potassium, it can then cellular response, like sodium potassium pump, other than iron oxygen transport, oxygen storage, other than biomineralization, biomineralization with the metals and calcium, iron, so can the biomineralization or mineralization of metals in biology that is known as biomineralizations. Okay, but the okay, reward metals for where example are photosynthesis photosynthesis with the metals are magnesium or for the manganese normal metals and photosynthesis with them so reward roles or or particular process for any blood coagulation blood coagulation like with the metal and calcium calcium the complex are in blood clot the yam and it are there the process okay so avade ke ee metals in reward roles ee biological system or or biochemical process there are okay then alkali and alkali earth metals especially sodium potassium and calcium how significance in biology to trigger a cellular response so cellular response in the way the metals are sodium potassium and calcium etc okay then calcium in the roles for any calcification of bonds blood coagulation acid base equilibrium fluid balance and osmotic regulation are other functions of calcium okay then next uh, some minerals are integral integral component of biological biologically important compounds for example hemoglobin hemoglobin contain iron and myoglobin the hemoglobin is a oxygen transport proteins oxygen transport protein molecule on the hemoglobin oxygen upper hemoglobin found in uh, bloods and myoglobin is a oxygen storage protein oxygen storage molecules found in uh, cells and tissues etc then thyroxin contain iodine insulin containing zinc vitamin b12 first uh, uh, first uh, naturally isolated organometallic compounds that is vitamin b12 containing a core ring inside of the core ring contain cobalt cobalt ions so uh, these uh, molecules contains numerous metals so, uh, another example is nitrogen fixation so, nitrogen fixation in the process where the clusters are now the molybdenum ion clusters okay several minerals participate as a cofactor enzyme in metabolic process and some examples are magnesium manganese copper and zinc we iron copper zinc required metallo enzymes to do activate them what is activate them these metals activate the metallic uh, enzymatic process okay for metallic uh, meta, uh, metallo enzymes to do activated functions so, like the catalytic function with the metals the sign in turn the metals are now the catalysis function in the way okay then in your number for example the essential elements in biological system in the biological system we have to put the essential elements okay now come on several elements are essential for the maintenance of life in organisms these elements are called essential elements 
okay these essential elements are classified broadly into bulk elements and trace elements p biological system il vanda ee rendu type elements ne allekil ee essential elements ne rendu classification irunnaanu onnu bulk elements then trace elements what is bulk elements so bulk elements endayirikkum ee major quantity vanda allekil macro amount vanda elements ne nammal ee bulk elements nu paraya micro quantity vanda small quantity vanda elements ne nammal trace elements നോക്ക നമുക്ക് ബൾക്ക് എലമെന്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ബൾക്ക് എലമെന്റ്സ് ബൾക്ക് എലമെന്റ്സ് ദീസ് ആർ ആൾസോ കാൾഡ് മാക്രോ ന്യൂട്രിയൻസ് ആർ ദോസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ആർ റെക്യൂർഡ് ബൈ ദ ലിവിംഗ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഇൻ റിലേറ്റീവ്ലി ലാർജ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ബൾക്ക് എലമെന്റ്സ് ദീസ് ആർ എലമെന്റ്സ് ആർ കാൾഡ് മാക്രോ ന്യൂട്രിയൻസ് ആർ ദോസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ റെക്യൂർഡ് ബൈ ലിവിംഗ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഇൻ റിലേറ്റീവ്ലി ലാർജ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് അപ്പോൾ ദീസ് എലമെന്റ്സ് ആർ ലെവൻ അപ്പോൾ പതിനൊന്ന് എലമെന്റ്സ് ആണ് ഈ ബൾക്ക് എലമെന്റ്സിൽ വരുന്നത് then adil then seven structural elements irunnu adey ne kevicha seven structural elements are oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus and calcium then uh, uh, then four more elements that are sodium potassium magnesium chlorine in human these 11 elements actually constitute more than 99% of the total required quantity of the elements this these elements are called bulk elements appo ee 11 elements aanu namukku bulk quantity vendu namm ullu pare ee 11 element oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus calcium sodium potassium magnesium and chlorine okay these are known as bulk elements then next category trace elements what is trace elements then trace elements are also known as micronutrients that are required by the living organism in very minute amounts okay for very minute quantity and elements we call micronutrients or trace elements sorry 19 elements are known as 19 elements included in trace elements category so 19 elements are in trace elements category la varunnu adey edakke nu vechittengil iron copper zinc manganese molybdenum cobalt chromium vanadium nickel cadmium tin lead lithium then six more one boron fluorin iodine selenium silicon and arsenic in fact among these elements other than iron copper and zinc are considered ultra trace elements okay apa zinc copper uh, <coughs> uh, uh, iron iron copper zinc ee moonu elements ne nammal trace elements parayya idu kudade aavashyamulla elements ne nammal ultra trace elements nu parayya ipo ee trace elements thana randanam vannu trace elements and ultra trace elements okay okay then next we are going to discuss the important functions of metal ion in biological system the important functions of metal ion in biological system okay first function as a cofactor in enzyme in enzymes conjugated proteins enzymes or hollow enzymes are those which contain a non protein portions cofactor attached to the protein portions okay then conjugated enzyme conjugated protein enzymes like the metal containing enzymes ne namu poduve parayna peranu hollow enzymes hollow enzyme hollow enzyme have two parts that are apo enzyme plus cofactor that is apo enzymes the protein part are known as apo enzymes that is cofactor the inorganic part or non protein part are known as cofactor appo oru hollow enzymes nu nirbandhayittu rendu part undu adana apo enzymes um cofactor okay cofactor are essential for the catalytic activity of conjugated enzymes for conjugated protein enzymes ne nirbandhayittu vendra part part aanu cofactor so cofactor is cofactor nu parna inorganic part inorganic part mainly metal metal part aayirikkum poduve undavu okay then cofactor are essential for the catalytic activity of conjugated enzymes metal ions like magnesium calcium zinc manganese as cofactor okay and enzymes appa idinte base cofactor ne base ne gondu or classification varunnu adu ke ke nanu parayan pattum adu ke classification first one metallo enzymes n enzyme and metal active activated enzyme
then third one coenzyme based on the cofactor nature cofactor nature means it's three type enzymes enzymes we have done metallo enzymes metal activated enzymes and coenzymes appo endha edukke nokka namukku ivada an enzymes that has tightly bound metal ion cofactor is known as metallo enzymes endana an enzymes that has tightly bound metal ion cofactor is known as metallo enzymes so in metallo enzymes metals are tightly bound to the enzymatic part or protein part this metal ion may contribute either to the structure or to the catalytic mechanism or both so functions of metal in metallo enzymes are uh, uh, provide to their structure and catalytic mechanism or both ee rendu karyangalana metallo enzymes in metal la functions aayittu varunathu onnu nadu inde structure provide cheya alla nundengilo adinde enzymatic function allengil idu rendum koodi koodi vayikku for example alcohol dehydrogenase contain two metal two zinc ions the first zinc ion acts as a structural entity and the second one helps in the catalytic mechanisms okay alcohol dehydrogenase contains two zinc ions the first one acts as a structural entity and the second second one helps in the catalytic mechanism okay another enzyme another metal enzymes superoxide dismutase contain copper zinc ureas contain nickel 2 plus carboxy peptidase zinc 2 plus and oxidase reductase and cytochrome for p450 contains ions these are the metallo enzymes appo oru vaadu metallo enzymes undu korche examples aanu nammal ivada parnathu okay then next category metal activated enzymes an enzyme that has loosely bound metal ion is called metal activated enzymes the an enzyme that has loosely bound metal ion is called metal activated enzyme enzymes here the presence of the activator metal ion is required for the enzyme enzymes to show catalytic activity so in metal activated enzymes the presence of metal is a presence of metal must how to initiate its catalytic activity okay phosphofructokinase is a metal activated enzymes okay then next category coenzymes sometimes the cofactor may an organic moiety like vitamin b12 or b vitamins in which case it is called coenzymes okay sometimes the cofactor may be an organic moiety like vitamin b12 in which case it is called coenzymes so examples vitamin b12 which contain cobalt open act as a metallo enzymes okay these are the uh, 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 cofactor functions so first functions of metal in biochemical system as cofactor in enzymes okay then second function as a structural entities second uh, second function is a structural entity an outstanding number of metal ions occurs as a structural entity in natural biological system for example calcium 2 plus present in bone and teeth fe present in variety of iron sulfur clusters in nitrogenation or nitrogen fixation process and magnesium present in chlorophyll so second function of our structural entity or like a structural rigidity provide a way to kore metals varunu or example varana calcium our bones ok varana metals aanu calcium appo calcium phosphate calcium phosphate irikkunna our bone il varana adiga metals inde saanam adu pole thanne iron present in iron sulfur clusters in nitrogen fixation process or nitrogen fixation fixation molecules okay and magnesium present in chlorophyll that are the second function as a structural entity then third function in the control of metabolic pathways in the control of metabolic pathway in the control of metabolic pathways metal ions play an important role in the control of metabolic pathways it about metabolic process in metabolic pathways the metals ne oru vaadu roles vekkum udaharanam parayanengil examples copper is key to the utilization and proper metabolism of protein 
is important in the construction of hair and muscles and help in the formation of red blood cells. Copper is a key function of Copper is a key to the utilization and proper metabolism of proteins. It is an important in the construction of hair and muscles and also helps in the formation of red blood cells. Okay, another one chromium. Chromium helps in the utilization and control of carbohydrate and protein metabolism in the body as well as as increase muscles and tissues growth. Okay, that's a function of chromium. chromium. Then next, manganese. Manganese is an important in the protein metabolism and also control the oxygen released by the photosynthesis in photosynthesis, photosystem 2. Manganese is an important in the protein metabolism and also control the oxygen released by the photosynthesis in photosystem 2. And also calcium, calcium along with magnesium control the muscles contraction and release mechanism within the body. These are the metals uh, act as the control of metabolic, these are the functions of metal in the control of metabolic pathways. Then fourth function as oxygen carriers, as oxygen carriers. These are the main functions of uh, metal in biology. The other main item function as an oxygen carriers. Iron is the essential ingredients or elements in the oxygen carriers, hemoglobin and myoglobin found in mammals and hemoerythrin found in marine invertebrates. So, hemoglobin and myoglobins contain iron. Iron molecule is a porphyrin ring. Or iron is a, is iron, Fe is an essential elements in the oxygen carriers, hemoglobin and myoglobin found in mammals and hemoerythrin found in marine invertebrates. Then last and final function, fifth one, maintenance of osmotic pressure and pH regulatory actions. Maintenance of osmotic pressure and pH regulatory actions. Sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium maintain the precise gradients across the cell membranes and thereby maintain the osmotic pressure and pH. The flux of these ions through the cell membranes also send the signals that turn off and turn on metabolic reactions. Okay, about e, 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 osmotic pressure, pH regulatory in the function of the metal are sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium. magnesium. Okay, then sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium maintain the precise gradients across the cell membranes and thereby maintain the osmotic pressure and pH. The flux of these ions through the cell membranes also send signals that turn off and turn on metabolic reactions. These are the functions of metal in biological system. Okay, first one as a cofactor in enzymes and structural entities in the control of metabolic pathways and oxygen carriers, then maintenance of osmotic pressure and pH regulatory actions. Okay.